Chris. This is Mr. Voigt. I am uh, going to show you how to draw your box. Uh, I forgot I wasn't going to be here, but you can watch this video. <coughs> Excuse me. And do this just as well. All right. So what you need to do, if you don't have this page, you can always go up here and go to New. We want a new drawing. If they're there, you can go there. And when you it'll bring up this dialog box, always hit the ACAD. And then it brings you to a new drawing. Okay? Should say drawing one right there. So we are going to draw our box just like we did by hand on the on your piece of paper. So what we're going to do first is come down here and make sure that all of these are turned off. And we're going to go ahead and turn so those two are the only ones that are on. See this one, see how the how the grid goes on and off? Okay, you can go ahead and leave the grid on. This snaps us when we're in one of these commands. So I want to draw a line. See how it snaps you right to the corners of those? I think I was showing you that yesterday. So we want that on. Okay. Except for I don't want to be in. You can do it with a line command, I guess. Uh, I, I, I need to take one step back. I do want you to turn one other thing on down here. This right here where it says dynamic input right next to it. If that, dot, if that is not there, if that little icon isn't there, you need to come over here. And you need to come right there. And now, see how it's not there? And then I click this, and there it is. All right, that's what I want. And then you got to click out of there. Turn that on. So we're going to come over here. We're going to go to this drawing thing. And we're going to draw a rectangle. And see how it takes me right to a corner. And when I click and let go of my mouse button, I can then pull up. And there's two boxes. There's one that has the blue in it right now, and then there's one that doesn't. I'm gonna so my box is gonna be eight inches. You see how that changed to eight? So it's gonna be eight inches long, and I'm gonna hit the tab button, and then it's gonna be five inches wide when I hit enter. So that because I told it to go, that's the five and the eight boxes came because I had this on. Alright. So I have and then I can use my my mouse wheel. To scroll in and out it scrolls where my see if I go up here it scrolls up where my cursor is so I want to have my cursor over my drawing and scroll in a little bit that makes it get bigger on the screen also if I press and hold the wheel the hand shows up that's pan so if I hold it I can move this thing around so if I'm scrolled in down here like that just press and hold your wheel and pan it up okay so we now have to draw our inside lines. The way I do this, the easiest way to do this, is to find the spot in here. We are a half inch, our end is a half inch in, and our side is a quarter inch in. So I just go there, and I click, and I come this way. See how it, it snaps to my corners? I don't want that on anymore. So I'm just going to go there. And now it gives me uh, a distance. You see that's in blue, and it gives me a uh, degrees. If I go straight to the right, that's zero degrees. If I go straight up, it'll be 90. You can't see it right now. There it is, 90. Straight to the left should be 180. Straight, and then it starts over. It goes 180, down to 90, back to zero. So what we want to do is go straight this way, 0.25. So you're going to type 0.25 because we're, oh, I'm sorry. We're going in on the end, so 0.5. And then we're going to tab over and go zero degrees. So really, I just drew a little a, a line to there. I'm going to go down 0.25, tab 90. So I drew it straight down. So that point right on the end of that line is where I'm going to draw my next rectangle. The question is, when I get into my rectangle command, how do I get it right on the end of there? I can come close just by moving my mouse, but I'm not going to be exact. So what I want you to do is come over here. There's this box with a little orange thing on it. Click that on. Come back up here. Go to rectangle. And now you see where you have that green box? That is locking you on the end of that line. So now I'm going to draw another rectangle. Remember, I'm half inch. If you look on your sheet, the inside is seven inches long. So I'm going to, again, see where it's blue? Seven. I'm going to hit tab and four and a half inches wide. Right? And then I can come back here 
And I can highlight that line by just by clicking on it, hovering right over it and clicking on it, and hovering over that one and clicking on it. Those two lines I just put there temporarily. I can hit delete. Delete, not backspace. Delete. It's right next to your enter button and just to the right of your backspace button. You'll see it. It says delete on it. Backspace will not delete things in this program. Okay? So there you go. Now we have to draw these little lines here. So I got to go click and come straight over. Half, so now I'm going to type 0. 0.5 tab 90. Oh, I did it wrong. See, I, I should have typed 180. It, it drew it correctly. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to go this way. 0. 0.5 tab 180. Go again. Hit my line command. 0. 0.5. I don't even have to look at it. Tab 0 for degrees. Hit my line command. 0. 0.5 tab 180. Point five tab zero. Okay, so that is done. So what we did next is we came straight down from this and we drew the side of it. So what I do on here is I click my line command, come right there, and I just come down three. That gives me my reference point, and then I come. So I'm going to be three inches straight below this with my next swing. I'm going to erase this line eventually. So then I come back to my rectangle command and I lock right on there. If you remember, we were eight inches long. So again, where the blue was, I make eight and then I hit tab and we are 1.75 inches tall. So, and then I can come back to this and I can get rid of it. Okay. And then, so that's the side view but I got to put my bottom on it. And if you remember, I do it just like I did this up here. I go here and I want to lock onto the side. I want to come straight this way and I want to come straight this way one eighth of an inch. And you figure you have to do it in decimal form though. One eighth, you have to divide the one by the eight to get the decimal. One eighth is 0.125. So I go 0.125 tab zero. So I came over and I want to come down. My bottom is 0.25 at 90. So I can go tab 90. And then I come straight over. Well, actually, what I like to do then is do, I can get rid of that little line right there if I want to. I don't like having double lines. It can mess you up. So I'm going to go 0. 0.125, tab 180. And I'm going to go straight down, 0. 0.25, tab 90. And I get out of my commands by hitting escape. I should have told you that much earlier. And then I go there and there. So that is that is my box side. So the next thing, actually what happened here is, if you see, I, I didn't put this, this is my x-axis. So if I want to move this up, I should have started the drawing up a little further. Um, on here, one thing you can do is, if I press and let go of my left mouse button, I can, or press and hold, I'm sorry, my left mouse button, I can go, well, it should be this, press and let go of my mouse button. If I pull to the left, I get this green box. If I pull to the right, so I'm not holding my mouse button, I click my left mouse button, I get a blue box. What that does is, watch, if I do my green box and I just touch an entity, so I do that full rectangle, I just have to touch it, it highlights the whole rectangle. Right? I'm going to hit escape to get out. But if I do it with a blue box, see how it doesn't highlight? But if I highlight the whole thing with the blue box, you have to encircle. See how that little line right there, when I cover it, highlights? And down there, that one highlights. When I cover the whole thing, it highlights. But it doesn't highlight if I don't encapsulate it. But when I do the green, all I have to do is touch something and it highlights. Any part of it. These are called selection windows. And when you're going to select something, I find it, I like using the green one. I just go like that. It works the same way if I encapsulate it, then I can get the whole thing. So I highlighted that. I come up here to move. I just click on it, and I can just move it up. 
it bothers me having that red line through it. Don't really care where it's at up here as long as you get it drawn accurately. So what we're going to do, same thing we did before. We're going to go this way, three inches, and we're going to hit tab zero because we want to go to zero degrees. That's where we're going to start our next drawing. Okay, so we come here, rectangle right on the end of that line, and again, five inches long, tab 1.75 inches tall. That is basically, and then I get rid of my, these are called construction lines, I get rid of that. That's basically the shape. And then I do the same thing I did before. I come here, draw a line at, uh, these will be 0.25, tab zero because it's at zero degrees and I go straight down 0.25 tab 90 see how it went straight down then I'm gonna and I can get rid of that little line if I want to I like to get rid of them and then I come over here do the same thing 0.25 tab 180 straight down 0.25 tab 90 then I can just connect the two, and I've drawn my bottom. So I'm pretty good here. I just need to get the line straight down the edge. So to do that, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go over 0.25, tap 0. I'm going to go straight down 1.75, tap 90, and it draws my line. So I can get rid of this little line, and I have a little line there I forgot to get rid of that they draw over the top of the other one. And this one is going to go 0.25, tab 90, or I'm sorry, it's not tab 90, it's tab 180. I'm going to go straight down, 0.25, tab 90. Oh, I didn't want 0.25, I'm sorry. I'm going to go back to this. It's going to be 1.75, tab 90. Drew my line down. Okay, so those are the edges. So this is, these are the three views that we drew on our paper. It took us quite a while. So you're learning how to do these drawings. So please follow this and get this done. All right, guys.